Hey, what's up guys? My name is Frankie. I want to do a quick review on the Eddie Bauer BC Evertherm jacket. Uh, I had been doing some research on this on this jacket for a while. I wasn't able to find a lot of information on the fit of it. So uh, I bought it, just got it in today. Want to try it on for you guys and uh, you know, allow you guys kind of see it on, on my frame to, uh, to see if it may, may fit you as well. So before we do that, I wanted to go over some of the stats of the jacket, just in case you aren't familiar with it, uh, to give you as a general idea of what the jacket is and what it can do. So I wrote a lot of these stats down, so bear with me. I'm going to be looking out to the side, take a step forward. I might be all up in your face for a minute, but uh, that's just so I can give you the right information. So the shell is made of a 15D Weather Edge Pro Shell. It has 45 gram Evertherm down fabric in it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with what that is uh, when it comes to the Evertherm jackets, but they have a proprietary um, down in it that's a sheet instead of down blown into baffles, creating a much thinner jacket. So it has a weather protection rating of 20K, 20K. If you're not familiar with that, just basically means it's extremely waterproof and very breathable. All right, so now that we're done with that, I'm gonna try this thing on. Um, I'm 5'8", 185 pounds. I chose a size medium because I wanted something that I can not only wear out on the trail, but also uh, around town. I wanted something that's kind of multi-purpose. Uh, the research I, that I did do and was able to find was that they run a little bit big, uh, so you can kind of fit layers underneath, wear gloves, things of that nature. So I went with a size smaller than I normally do. Like normally I wear like a large in, in most of my uh, shirts and, and sweaters and things like that. So here we go. All right, so here we go. I got it on. A few things I want to point out, like this video is not necessarily doing it the best of justice, but uh, I'll kind of try to walk you guys through it. Um, so I do have a, a sweater underneath you saw me wearing earlier and a shirt under that. So I do kind of have technically two layers and then the jacket on. Just to show you that there is some room, I still have probably enough room for another another layer as well under here, but it does fit fairly, you know, fairly well. Like it's not baggy at all. Um, I am pretty broad shouldered. The line on my shoulder fits perfectly. It's right where it's supposed to be. Um, the arm length is great. If I do not Velcro the arm, I'm just kind of stand off to the side here. You can see that goes about mid hand and there's plenty of room in here for like a glove or something like that. But if you kind of tighten it down, it really tapers down really well. Yeah, fix that for you guys. It really tapers down really well. It looks really nice. It's, it's very form fitting. Um, Also, like throughout the ribs, the chest, the hips, it's nice and it's like, it's loose, but it's not too loose, if that makes any sense. Um, I was like doing everything I possibly could to get this thing to ride up or bunch on me. I couldn't do it. I was like dancing around, a little Carlton, all kinds of stuff. It, it just won't, it won't ride up on my body. So, uh, it does, if it, if it is a little loose on the hips, it does have these bands that you can tighten down and, you know, and cinch that down if you needed to. Uh, but for me, you know, it's about, you know, just above crotch level, you know, it wraps around really well. So it's really insulating, warm, comfortable. I, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the fit. So for me, the medium fit, it fits perfect. I think a small would be too small and a large would definitely be too big. Uh, my opinion would probably be if you want to wear, you know, a layer or two under this, this jacket, you probably would want to be somewhere between, um, you know, 185 pounds to 195 pounds and no taller than 5'10 if you want a medium. So let's move into the pockets. It has several pockets. The first is the chest pocket. Thing's pretty big. Uh, you can easily fit a cell phone in here. Then you have your two 
hand pockets. Uh, it's they're insulated pockets. You can tell they're really warm in the in the fabric in here. It's like your typical down jacket fabric. It's really soft. Um, and this is probably each pocket is probably twice the size of your chest pocket. So pretty big. You can easily fit your hands in here with gloves. Yeah, yeah. On the inside, you have a couple more pockets. You have a huge net pocket in here. It's almost the size of the entire side of, of the jacket. I would say you can fit like an iPad in here if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but if you needed to, you could definitely do that. Um, but then on this side, this is a really cool pocket. It's another pocket about the size of the chest pocket. Um, the difference is, is it has this little port here that allows you to poke your headphones through. So during rainy weather, you can run your um, your headphones up through and, and keep them keep them from getting wet. The hood is really nice. I was really surprised with the hood. I always seem to have struggle. I don't know if it's the shape of my head or what it is, but I seem to struggle with uh, hoods not being able to move with me when I'm turning and things like that. Kind of crossing over my my eye and, and my line of sight. Uh, this one does not do that whatsoever. So I've already kind of adjusted these. So you, when I put it on, you'll kind of see it's already form fitting. It's much bigger than that. You can actually probably fit a helmet under that when it's fully extended. Um, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of how it how it moves and fits. So I thought I tightened it down, but I forgot. This is like my eighth take, and uh, I loosened it up at some point. So um, I know you see these strings hanging out, but these actually tuck down into the jacket. Uh, you just kind of push them down. I won't do that right now, but they, they push down really easy into the jacket, especially if you're feeding it through, um, and then they, they kind of disappear. Um, it has this firm brim on it to keep the rain out from, uh, rain from hitting your face, and it has a three-point adjustment, the two on the side, and then like the one-handed one in the back here. Uh, so quick test, I'm gonna just kind of move my head so you can kind of see how, how it stays with me. So, um, it doesn't completely stay with me. It does, you know, it does kind of turn on me a little bit, but for, but it doesn't impede my vision whatsoever. It never crosses my eye line, um, to where I can't see, which is really nice. So a little bit about the feel of the jacket, the outside, it has a really great feel to it. Um, it, do, it does feel like it, it's pretty strong, but it, it's kind of plush. Like it, it, it kind of has a softness to it. It's a really nice, you know, comfortable jacket. It's not rigid at all. Um, the inside, again, it, it kind of has that traditional uh, down jacket feel. If you're familiar with like the, uh, the outside of a down jacket, that's what the inside feels like. So it's really soft. It feels, it feels extremely comfortable. Again, not rigid at all. So it moves really well with you. Um, so overall, the feel of the jacket is, is great. That's pretty much my review on the jacket. I'm gonna zip it up one more time and just kind of move around, bend, so you can kind of see how it, uh, how it kind of moves with me. So, you know, if I squat down, get up, still, still there tight, I can completely wrap around, grab, I can reach up, you know, no problem. You know, um, I don't know. I can uh, do a little boogie. I'm running. I'm running away. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, it's a bear. I don't know. Whatever you need to do, I'm pretty positive you could do this. I'm going to be going out to... I'm going to be going out to um, the Sierras this weekend, doing some hiking and some fishing. Uh, it'll probably be in the low 40s while I'm out there. I'll be bringing this, testing it out. Um, this thing's supposed to be able to get way down and it's like the, the negatives, as long as you're active, it's not necessarily meant to keep you warm when you're, you know, when you're stagnant. Uh, so I'll, I'll test that out and, and report back to you guys and see how, how it does. In the meantime, post some comments. I love to kind of hear how I did this. Is my first review ever. So if there's things you want me to add, I would love to do that. 
I want to start posting a little bit more. I've made some some things that I'll be sharing with you guys as well. So if you guys have any advice on what I can do better, love to hear that as well. Thanks, guys.